Hi friends, welcome back to Can Do Budgets. My name is Erin, happy Friday. Uh, Friday on this channel means we are doing another cash stuffing, so let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Good morning or good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you are watching this. I hope you guys had a fantastic week. We are back again with another Friday, another cash stuffing. Um, if you noticed, I do have a new opener. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Um, the colors are matchy matchy to something new that we have coming. Um, I do have an announcement at the end of this video, or once we're done this really quick cash stuffing, I do have an announcement, and it will it will match with the new opener that we created. So I'm just going to organize all my bills. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. We were supposed to get a lot of snow last night. Um, I woke up to only a little tiny bit, so I am not mad about it. This is what we took out of the bank today. So let me tell you, <laughs> um, it can be confusing because our paycheck for this week, um, this week was my husband's pay. He brought home $1,060, but we are only stuffing $435. Let me count to make sure that that's what is here, and then I will get into showing you how I came up with the 435. So to stuff today, we have 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 360, 70, 80, 90, 400, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. My voice is a little hoarse today. Um, it almost feels like I was going to get a cold the last couple days. I thought that I was getting something, but it turns out it's just, just my, vo my voice that's hoarse. So all is well on that front, which is good because who can even afford to get sick anymore? So I'm going to bring over my little tracker. And this is where you will get information on how I got the 435 number. So yesterday was the actual payday, March 23rd. He got $1,060, as I said. We have been living um, with heavy guilt <laughs> into our overdraft. We're working on getting out of that and just canceling the overdraft. But for now, I am leaving $300 in the bank for to cover the overdraft. Um, and then immediately we go into debt. We are still waiting for a callback from the bank to let us know whether our debt consolidation request is going to go through. So they said Monday or Tuesday, and it's now Friday. We did follow up with them, and I haven't heard anything yet. So we're just going to keep on keeping on. So yesterday on payday, um, on Jordan's pay weeks, these three come out and on my pay weeks these three come out so yesterday we put 106 dollars onto his student loan 50 dollars onto his capital one and 72 dollars onto his line of credit which takes off another 228 dollars so if you're keeping track that's going to leave us with 530 dollars to play with if we spoiler alert go down to the bottom um, we are going to leave $90 for a new video game that came out. If you'll notice, I took away, I took out our spending envelopes. So Jordan and myself and the kids no longer have spending envelopes because it's not currently in the budget. So we are going to budget for when something cool comes out that we want to spend our money on. Jordan doesn't spend money ever. So when he said, hey, I'm gonna need $90 for this game. Like, is that okay? Can we work that into the budget? Absolutely, we just don't have the money right now to set aside for spending. So we have $435 to stuff with. It's been a large week. Has it been like a large week for anyone else? So this is my new tracker that I'm using. Let's get right into 
the stuffing. Stick around if you do want to see the announcement that is coming. I'm very, very excited. Okay, so for this paycheck, we are not stuffing this binder at all, our spending binder. We were lucky enough to get a gift card from um, my mother-in-law gave us a gift card for Sobeys, so we do not need to stuff groceries this week, which is perfect because we didn't really have it. Um, of course, if it came down to, no, you can't get the $90 game, there would be no... Um, There'd be no bad blood or no hurt feelings. We would put that towards groceries if needed. And we just filled up on gas. Um, so the rest of it, we are going to be skipping, but we will update and see what we have. So the first binder is our bills binder. Okay, so this is, this is our debt. I'm still kind of getting used to um, my reset all of my binders. Again, I forgot that pen. Do you guys have that one pen in your house that's like your favorite pen to use? I do, and I don't know why I never bring it. You know what I do want to do? I want to order pens from Black and Blue. If you haven't checked out her channel yet, it's Black N, like the letter N, Blue, and she blings things. And it's fantastic. She has a whole website you can go on. And if you go on her YouTube channel, it will take you there. But she does these bling pens. And I am, I have my eye on one of those. So, student loan for Jordan. These ones we are just writing in. So, we made a payment of $106. And I'm going to put yesterday's date because that's when the payment came out. That's one of six every two weeks. So, and then capital one for him. Um, we also made a $50 payment yesterday. And line of credit, uh, $72 payment, March 23rd. So we don't actually stuff those because they just, the same day we get paid, they are pulled out of the bank account. So, and then for mine, for my three, we skip um, until my payday. Um, I did just get a promotion. Yay! I just switched from uh, one team with the current company I'm with to another team, but it is more hours. It's more money. Um, I'm really excited for the for the new team. And on top of that, I also still, I did pick up a part-time job. Um, so I'm really busting my butt to pay off this debt. Um, and then, and then the money that we're using to pay off the debt can go to things like this, our savings, our spending. Um, and I also have a savings challenge binder that would be great to get into. So that's where that money will go. Once we have that freed up from debt, that's going to be great. So now we're going to get into the meat and potatoes. Um, student loan for Aaron. This is one that we do stuff for because it, um, it comes out at the end of each month. So if I put aside money weekly and then deposit it at the end of the month, it's all there. So we add $30 each week. And now we are at 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20. So 120, that's um, 119 is the bill. So, oh yes, this is our fourth. Oh buddy, this is our fourth payday of March. So that means once I stuff these envelopes, um, I can take all the money back to the bank and make sure that everything's in there to come out automatically for April. Um, so let's change the color maybe to differentiate and we'll say we have 120. So I'm going to put a little check mark there so I know that that's ready to go back to the bank. So kids gets 140, 
120, 40. Um, this month is uh, a magic month, if you will, as there is a there is going to be a fifth pay um, because we get paid every we get paid consecutive Friday, Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Friday. So that works out to five paydays in March. So our next payday, our magic pay is going to go to more of our long-term spending. I won't use that for any of our bills. So for kids, this should be all ready to go to the bank for child support for the month of April. Let's see if it's all there. Um, 100, 200, 300, 350, 70, 90, 410, 430, 450, 470, 490, 510, 530, 550, 55 60 so 560 which is perfect 560 ready to go to the bank so currently our payments are 555 um dollars and 25 cents so i do round up rent same deal we are adding 175 150 75. Okay, so rent for the month of April, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 600, 650, 670, 690, um, 695, and 700. So this is ready to come out. Insurance. Okay, so we have a pretty little IOU. No shame in the game. Sometimes we need money for things in the moment um, more than we need money for things that are coming up at the end of the month. Um, we do owe this envelope $90. Um, Jordan had to have a hearing test done because he keeps getting infections every time the weather changes. Um, he'll get inner ear infections. So we're really trying to get that looked at, maybe a surgery or something. Um, but in order for the surgeon to see him, he did have to have a hearing test done. They had a last minute appointment. Um, it was a $90 charge. So we pulled it out of here we are going to just have to make that up. So we need to add 20, 35, and normally we would need 140 in this envelope. We are going to be short 90. So we have 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So 50 and 90 is in fact 140. So I'm going to add what am I going to add? A highlight maybe? And then I'll know that we we just need to come up with the $90 before the 27th. Today is the 24th. So no stress. We will figure it out. We will pull it from somewhere and maybe we'll put this IOU in, um, in some other envelope. So... Kudo and Public Mobile. These are our phone bills. Um, Kudo, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 we have in there. So that is ready for the next payment. Um, that can come out, but we still are going to add $15 to prepare for the next next payment. So we'll just put a note on this, that this needs to come out as well. And I will only pull these 60 that we need for the upcoming bill. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. So this was 75. I'm going to put a check mark and then I'm going to put 60 in brackets. So I know that's how much I need to pull. That may have already come out, actually. I do leave a little bit of 
money in the bank account just in case I don't make it back to the bank with these deposits before they come out. Um, proactive rather than reactive. We're adding $10 to public mobile. So now there's 30 in there. And that one is not quite ready. You know what I've been listening to a lot lately? I don't know if you guys remember the gorillas, um, but I've been so stuck on their Demon Days album. It's when it's not playing out loud, it's literally playing in my head. I can't, I can't stop. I can't make it stop. I don't really want it to because it's, <laughs> it's great, but. Um, so for subscriptions, we are picking away at Amazon. Um, we're adding 10 more dollars. Once we get to 100, we're going to do the annual subscription for Amazon Prime. So we're at 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 dollars. 90 dollars. That's so close. So once we hit 100, we'll pull this money, deposit it into the bank, and sign up for our yearly Amazon Prime. So for subscriptions for Spotify, um, we are going to add $5. We're now at 20, but that is ready to pull and we're going to pull the, oh, pull 15 to cover for our Spotify bill. $15 for both of us isn't, you know, it isn't the worst and we listen to music all the time it drives me nuts that this isn't the same font as this uh, but i did give up my cricket plus or whatever the whatever the subscription subscription is that gets you cool fonts with cricket i gave it up so now we're back to the basic standard fonts for any of my new envelopes um Eventually, they will all match again because, let's be honest, I can't keep the same envelopes for very long. Is anyone else like, I need new envelopes all the time? Um, meds for pets is not getting anything, and it has 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. So 50 will do two of our flea treatments, but... We didn't take into account that we do have two cats that will need flea treatments as well. So we are going to need to double this because um, it's about $25 per month per flea treatment. Um, groom, we're adding $5. So now we're at a 10. Dun, dun, dun. Um, okay. 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 Um, pharmacy usually gets $20 each pay based on, um, what I've been spending, but we are just going to do $5 for now. Um, that will be something that maybe I supplement from our magic paycheck. And bank fees is going to get $5, and then this will be fully funded. So 10, 15, 20. Now this is fully funded for the bank fees at the end of this month. So that's 20 and it's ready to be pulled. So let's hop on over. to our second binder. Groceries normally gets 200, um, gas normally gets 30. We just used, like I said, we have a gift card for groceries and gas we just um, filled up with the bank account. So we don't need anything in there. Um, clothing, I will count these. You can skip ahead if you'd rather not see me um, count. So Aaron and Jordan, Aaron, Jordan, both empty. Parker for clothing has 20, 30, 35, 40.
and Lily has 20, 30, 40. I really like the clear binders. The only thing is that they don't stay open. A leather binder would be nice, but they're pricey. Pricey. Sanity is not getting anything, and it has five. We are well stocked up. Um, I got a shout out on a video about my sanity envelope, so that was pretty cool. Um, it was Carrie Counts Cash. If you want to check below, I will put her YouTube channel in the description box. Check her out. She is from the province next to me, so I'm in Canada. I'm in Nova Scotia. She's in New Brunswick, so um, it's pretty cool. I love meeting everyone in the community. Um, birthdays, Parker has 50, 70, 90, 110, 15. Why does that sound wrong? 50, 70, 90, 110, 15. Nope, it's right. And Lily for birthdays has 50, 70, 80, 95. That's what I was expecting for Parker as well. Family has 10, 25. So again, these ones will get stuffed um, when we have some extra money coming in. 15. I encourage you, if you're starting your cash stuffing journey, I encourage you to stuff what you can. Um, don't be intimidated by everyone on YouTube who's like just throwing money into envelopes. Um, that's not a very common way to start. And people really work hard to get to that position. So if you can't stuff 70% of your envelopes, that's nothing to be ashamed of. Um, home decor has $10. Furniture has 40. Slowly making our way to a big couch. And renovation has 10. Car. I'd like to add a new category in here for a new car as well. Um, not that there's anything wrong with our current car we have, but you know, things can go bad at any time and it's not, it's not exactly brand new. So we do want to prepare, be prepared for that. So oil changes has 2035. And tires has 25. Oh gosh, I see another um, IOU note. Dun dun dun. This one, oh, this one has been here. Right, this one was here last time too. So our little IOU 70 for poor Parker is still there. But you better believe that I am good for my word. So Parker for Christmas now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85 plus his IOU 70, which I am not going to do the math right now, but that's what we have. Um, Lily has 120, 40, 60, 75. 175, we don't have a real goal for how much we want to save, but um, family has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 105. But I am pretty pleased. I'm pleased as punch with how much we do have set aside. Because you want to know how much money we had set aside for last year? Nothing. I've been cash stuffing for um, a couple of years now. But I always seem to have to pull, especially when I wasn't making videos. I was forever pulling from envelopes I shouldn't have been. Um, this kind of keeps me accountable, so... Thank you guys for that. Anniversary has 2045. Our anniversary is in September. So we have a little bit of time for that. Family fun. Bum, bum, bum. Um, grading has 2040. I actually just dropped the kids off at school. 
There was supposed to be a snowstorm today, so we are anticipating no school, but here we are. Um, $20 in photos, and there's nothing in the savings for family fun. So we'll use savings for if we just have something cool we want to go to. We recently went to a um, live production of Matilda the Musical at our local high school, at the one I actually went to. Um, it's pretty cool to go back and see your, your photo on the wall with the year you graduated. Um, and trips. This is the only one that I, like, I hate. I hate skipping that. Uh, we do have a little bit of change in here, but we will leave that there for now. Okay, time for the announcement. Dun, da, da, da. So let's go back to the beginning. So here's our cover page of the digital planner that I created. Um, the big announcement is that I am going to be posting this for people to purchase. Um, if you purchase a digital download, you can then um, open it up with a with an app like GoodNotes. Um, I don't know what the other apps are that you can use this for, that you can use for this, but um, I know GoodNotes is one that often people use. So the way that it works is once you download it off of whatever website I'm gonna use, Etsy or uh, Shopify, I'm thinking, um, it then just works like a regular planner. So there are tabs up top that you can jump to certain places. Um, if you go to monthly, you can get to January from here, or there's also tabs on the side. So if you want to go right to March, it's really cool how the hyperlinks work actually. Um, so if we go back to the beginning, that's just a opener page. You can use the tabs or you can also just scroll through. So I have a little how to section on how to set up your cash envelopes is this if this is your first time uh, statement breakdown how to set up your envelopes part two and then a try it out on the next page which is here um and we also have a goal cash stuffing so the reason i made my own tracker is because um the ones that i have found don't have enough lines. So this is really minimized down as much as it can so that the main goal of this page is to have enough lines to do your different envelopes. And you can use this even if you don't wanna do cash stuffing. So if you keep going, we get to the notes. Um, we have aligned notes and an unlined notes. So what you can do is if you wanna add notes to each month, you would copy page. And if you wanna add it in after your January, you press this little plus button um, after is already highlighted and you're just gonna paste page. So now all of a sudden your notes page is pasted right after January. I'm going to do an in-depth video on how to use this. Um, but I just wanted to do like a little spoiler alert. So March, I did set up a little bit. I do have um, monthly layouts in the trackers section. Um, I have a Sunday start and a Monday start. I've always been a Sunday start girly. I'm thinking about changing over to a Monday start because the weekend being at the end of the week just like makes more sense to me. Um, a little weekly layout with um, Sunday. And there is also a Monday start here as well and a weekly planner that's a little bit more in depth. And again, the Sunday and Monday start for both. So if you want to say you want to do a Monday start for the month of January, you're gonna copy this page, go to your January tab, Press your little plus sign button and paste page after. So now all of a sudden you have January um, and you can, you can write in here. Or another fun option would be to add text and make it whatever font that you, 
you have some cool fonts, you can download cool fonts too. Look at that, January. You can change the color of the font so it's not so harsh. I love that. Okay, so let's go back to trackers. So the one thing is if you do want to write on it, you do have to press this little um, edit icon up there and then you can write. But if you want to use the hyperlinks, you have to exit the edit option. So let's get rid of that. Okay, so back to the trackers. Um, we have a monthly bills breakdown that you can pull to your different months, a monthly debt breakdown, and a transaction log, and a debt payment tracker. And then we do have cash stuffing um, forms, forms, that's not what I mean, cash stuffing pages in here as well. So here's what I just used to complete my cash stuffing. Um, you can, again, you pull it and you put it into whatever month you are looking for. There's a page one where your income, debt, your bills, and your spending, and then the page two where your savings is. Again, lots of space. And then a cash breakdown with an empty notes page. You gotta love it. And then my favorite, my arguably my favorite section, is the savings challenges because you guys, look at this. Okay, so if you complete this savings challenge, um, you'll get $640 and it's like a, you can like, you can like color it in. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And you can change the colors and you can, you could do a better job coloring if you wanted to. Um, you can make it smaller. So once you've colored in all of these and set the money aside for it, you will have $640. And then for funsies, I added a blank one so that if you wanted to save um, just like a very specific number, if you wanted to save $1,200, um, you could just figure out the numbers to, to put in. Um, or you could do something where every box, you could put in your own, 5, 10, 15, 20. Um, you could do every box is fives. And same thing, when it's time to color it in. Bam, I love it, you gotta love it. And then there's a sinking funds. Um, Fill the jar to the top. It will be $180 once you're done. Um, so, once you save $5, you can color it in. You can change your colors if you want. The next time you're gonna save $10 and eventually it will be 180. So there's the, there's the skinny on my planner. Um, let's go back to the beginning. So yeah, I love it. Um, I don't have a set date yet where this will come out. I'm thinking of doing a launch of digital products um, around Easter, perhaps, if I can get all the digital product products ready, because I don't want to just release this. I'd like to have a, a couple of things um, to go with it. I'll do a digital launch, and then um, I will branch out and do physical products as well. I am so excited. So here's, this is the color scheme. So that's why you'll notice the intro has changed a little bit. I would love to just keep everything kind of like one standard theme. So that's everything. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. I love meeting everyone who's watching, especially if you're still here at this point. Let me know if you watch the whole thing. Um, I love watching all your videos. Um, I can't wait to come back and do another stuffing with you. So our next video will be, um, an end of month wrap up where I will take everything out of the bank, out of the envelopes to put it back into the bank. Um, and that video will be coming soon. And then I will do another video showing what we are doing with our magic 
paycheck, which is going to be essentially a thousand dollars that we don't have um, anything set aside for. So stay tuned for that. We have a lot of cool things coming. Stay tuned for a release date for this and a video on how to use this in depth. And I will talk to you soon. Have a great weekend, you guys. Bye.